Hello YouTubers! One of the constant things that people ask me is about the software that comes with the Pocket HD camcorders, the Bloggy and the PlaySport and the ZI8. It seems to me that people want the software to do more than what it's actually capable of, which I think is a little bit of a shame. I actually uploaded the ArcSoft software from my PlaySport today onto my laptop and it was really basic also the Sony bloggies was quite basic as well and I did find that the converters weren't really that good to be honest um, there were some other free converters that you can get online which did a better job what I decided to do was have a look online to see one if there was any decent converters out there and two to see if there was any HD editing software that you can get for free. So I started off with the editing software and it was a complete nightmare. There wasn't anything, basically. Not that I could find anyway. All of the HD editing software you've got to pay for. I gave up on that, on that side of things and I thought, well, okay, if you can get a decent converter, then you can convert the files that you do from the bloggy and the PlaySpot and the ZI8. And then once they're converted into, say, WMV, you can then stick them in Windows Movie Maker. Because as far as I could tell, Windows Movie Maker is probably the best for the PC. The best kind of editing software, the easiest to use. Okay, it's not as advanced as Sony Vegas or Movie Edit Pro, but if you want to do some basic editing, then Windows Movie Maker for the PC is the way to go. So I had a look at the converters and didn't really... It was, it was a bit tricky really because... It was either that they had trial version restrictions on them, so you only had it for 30 days, or you could only do three minutes at a time, or something like that. Or, once you converted the file, the quality of the video was, wasn't was good enough, basically. Once I put it into Windows Movie Maker, the quality was just rubbish, so I didn't really see the point in that. Until I came across a converter called Prism. Now what I'm going to do is show you some screenshots behind me so that you can see for yourselves. But Prism, it converted within about four or five minutes and the quality of the video was I would say about 95-96% as good as the original. So it did do quite a, very, quite a good conversion which I was quite impressed with. The conclusion I came to was if you've got a PC and it's relatively low spec you can use Windows Movie Maker and then you can get Prism for free because there's a free version and then there's a paid version the free version I think the only restrictions are is that there's only a certain amount of um, file formats that you can actually convert to if you've got Windows Movie Maker and you've just brought the PlaySport, the Bloggy or the ZI8 or even the ZI6 and you wanna do better editing than the onboard software can do then use Windows Movie Maker and use Prism to convert the files and then stick them into Windows Movie Maker so that is my sort of workaround I have had it in mind after getting uh, Movie Edit Pro 15 Plus I was thinking about doing a competition to win version 14 that I've got the only problem that I can see is that I have already registered the version of 14 that I've got. So if you were to win it and you needed an update, then I think you would have problems updating it. So what, I, what I'm sort of thinking of doing, if I can sort of get some money together, I've been looking to see if, how much it would cost to buy Movie Edit Pro 12 or Movie Edit Pro 14. Both of those are relatively cheap at the moment because obviously they're old versions. I think I'll be able to get them on eBay or Amazon. So what I'm what I'm thinking of doing is trying to get hold of Movie Edit Pro 12 or 14 or maybe even both, and then do competition for you guys so that you can win a copy of Movie Edit Pro um, 12 or 14. So that if like me you want to do videos that have got more effects on them or the side by sides or whatever then in Movie Edit Pro you'll be able to do that. Depending on how long it will take me to 
be able to get hold of the, the versions. I don't know how long it's going to take, so it's just a sort of thought at the moment, more than anything else. But I will keep you informed, and once I get hold of Movie Edit Pro 12 or 14, then I shall do another video um, telling you what the competition is going to be and how it's all going to go and all that sort of stuff. The reason why I think of Movie Edit Pro 14 and Movie Edit Pro 12 is because on lower spec computers it works better and you can still edit the HD files or like with 12 you can convert the files into WMV and then you can use it in Movie Edit Pro 12. I have heard some people that do HD videos that actually still use Movie Edit Pro 12 so obviously there is some kind of scope to be able to do that. There you go, that's, that's my little idea. I've been wanting to do a competition for ages and as soon as I can get hold of a copy of Movie Edit Pro 12 or 14 then I shall do the competition and I'll let you guys know when that happens. Okay, I hope this video has helped and I shall be doing some more later on. Okay then, bye bye.